On the 19th of December 2021, I posted a video over on the main channel called The Missing Woman Who Doesn't Exist, which was an exploration into the case of Joanna Lopez, a person whose missing poster was broadcasted on the news in 1989 and apparently again in 1991. The image was disturbing to say the least, and Joanna was never found or even talked about again for decades. Recently, that changed. In that video, I talked about some people over on Reddit who were looking into the Joanna Lopez case. At the time, this subreddit was relatively small, but since then, the subreddit has grown to over 1,600 members, and people are posting every day. There have been some new leads, sketches, possible matches, and more. So today, we're going to look at some of these posts in order to properly update the case and bring everybody up to speed. In the original video, I showed you a couple of enhanced photos that were created by some of the users over on Reddit. These helped establish some of the physical characteristics, and in the last few months, some sketches and improved enhancements have come out that help us a lot. Here are a few. However, the best one by far was created by a user named Lava Hot, who actually took us through a step-by-step -step breakdown of how they enhanced the image, eventually using Unity to fully recreate it, which left us with this. This is easily the best reference that we have when it comes to Joanna's characteristics, and I have to applaud Lava Hot for the amazing job that they did. I'll leave the full breakdown and the original Reddit post linked below. Secondly, there are a few theories about the broadcast, with some believing that the second second broadcast, the one that aired in 1991, didn't actually happen, instead believing that this was a mistake and the first broadcast was the only time this poster was aired. Others believe that this broadcast was in fact aired on multiple occasions, but that they were closer together, maybe a week or even a few days apart. This would mean that they both happened in 1989, and it would make the timeline easier to understand. The 1991 broadcast really throws us for a loop and adds a lot of variables to this case. It may be a situation where it was broadcasted multiple times, but the dates are simply wrong. Finally, and this is the biggest update by far, there is a possible match that is very intriguing. Yes, Joanna Lopez may have actually been found, but as of now, it has not been confirmed. This begins with a post by a moderator, Cringe Nene, who actually contacted me about this as well. The post said the following. User Bubblegum Trad just contacted me on the Discord. They just got off the phone with a Joanna Lopez from Chicago who ran away from home in 1989. They said it could be her and they will get back in touch soon. Is this an unfortunate coincidence or is this our girl? Only time will tell. But two Joanna Lopez's going missing in 1989 in the same city would be ridiculous. We will not be disclosing how we got the number out of safety and protection for the people involved, but I have verified the information with Bubblegum Trad. They're being honest. Now we just need to see if Joanna will come through and call us back. If she does, we may be at the end of the investigation. If she isn't, we've got the world's worst coincidence on our hands. Stay tuned. We're giving her one week to call us back, then we will text her and try to figure out what's going on. So if there aren't any immediate updates, we apologize. Bubblegum Trad, the person who made the original call, responded with the following. Just as they said, I spoke with a possible Joanna on the phone just now. She seemed very freaked out that I knew all of this stuff, so I am confident that she is being genuine. She did tell me that she was only gone for a few days and that her parents wouldn't have called any news stations. I'll let you know if slash when she calls me back. This was a massive lead, but unfortunately she did not call back. The call was verified and could have very likely been her, but I imagine this being quite a lot for the real Joanna, so it is understandable that she wouldn't want to have much to do with this. Maybe when she's had time to digest what happened, she'll give us a proper update, but there's no point in holding our breath. The last thing we'd want to do is for Joanna to be bombarded with calls and messages regarding the case. Really, all we can do now is wait. Still, we have a clear recreation of the original photo, which which was almost impossible to make out at first, and we have some potential clarifications on the timeline of the case. Most importantly, we have what seems to be a perfect match even though it has not been confirmed. This is a lot of progress in a short amount of time, and the community over on Reddit should be proud of what they've done. I'll leave a link to everything I've mentioned, feel free to head over there and join the community, there is a lot of fascinating posts to explore. I'll see you next time.